Beautiful people of planet Earth, another part in the series of connecting various different microphones into the mighty Shure MVX2U interface, which is one of the most smallest yet power-packed interfaces that we've tested. I love this thing. And you might be looking at this microphone thinking, what are you, on a stage, on comedy? Are you a lead singer of a band? No, this is the iconic Shure SM58 microphone plugged into a Shure MVX2U interface. And this is what it sounds like. It sounds pretty incredible. I'm going to show you how that looks from an overhead perspective. Certainly, this microphone, you don't necessarily have to plug it in the end of a microphone. I'm just doing this just to keep things simple. I'm coming out of the bottom here and directly monitoring it with the headphones that I've got on. And this is going out of the interface directly into my computer. Now, if you wanted to not have this end the way this is and you want it to be more like a mic cable and then have the mic cable go into your computer you can certainly do that you would just get a standard xlr cable a mic cable like you would normally get plug it into the end of this microphone run that cable to wherever it needs to run put this on the other end of that cable and then of course the USB-C uh, into the computer depending on if you've got a USB-C or USB-A input on your computer. So that's a really easy way of doing it. I do have an MV88 uh, from, uh, from Shure that's a great condenser microphone but if I'm going to travel with a dynamic microphone the SM58 is a great microphone to be able to do it. Yes for podcasting. Absolutely for podcasting. It's a great dynamic microphone and I've used it hundreds of times for podcasts and musical band situations, of course, as well. And then you can see over here on the right-hand part of your screen is the Shure Plus Motive app. Now, you don't necessarily have to have a Shure microphone in order to use the Shure MVX2U interface and the software here. It can be any brand of whatever microphone. But the Shure MVX2U utilizes this Shure Plus Motive app that you see on the right-hand side of your screen. And here you could dial in, you could dial back. You could see I got quieter there, dial back or increase the amount of gain to be able to do that. And certainly adjust maybe EQ if you want to dial off the high end or you want to dial back the low end or dial it back up, depending on how you want to do that. Your monitor mix is the amount of, it really isn't necessarily, if you're doing solo, it's not a big deal. It's the amount that you hear in the monitor versus what you're hearing from the playback of your computer. Your high pass filter, you can roll off those low end frequencies that you you don't necessarily need for the human voice. And then, of course, your compression that you see here at the bottom. Be a little conservative with that. Don't overly compress something. But it's different than a limiter. A limiter keeps me from, if I'm yelling, it's going to keep things from really distorting. The compression is going to keep things that I say that are really quiet, bring it up so that you can hear it a little bit more clearly, and then vice versa. So it's going to squash it. So it's going to keep it a little bit more uniform in terms of what you're hearing. And then, of course, if you want to set in a preset based on what you like, like for the, in this case, the Shure SM58, you can certainly do that. I've got a bunch of presets for a bunch of mics that I use for that. And if I switch it over here to auto level, if you don't want to do this manually, this is going to change the sound right now because I'm going to click over. And so now it's different and I'm going to get a little bit closer because it sounds like I'm a little bit quieter. So I'm going to grab and go, oh, see, it got, it got a little too loud. I like to dial it in a little bit so that I don't I can control the amount of volume, but you can go dark, you can go natural, or you see my voice got a little bit brighter, a little bit more mid-range, and then of course very bright, which is you're going to hear a lot more of that high-end stuff. You can mute the microphone here. Don't hit phantom power on this. This is a dynamic microphone, does not need phantom power. It's more for condenser microphones. I'm going to switch back to manual, and now it got louder. Sorry if that popped you a little bit, but when you click back to manual, it goes back to your what you had in your original setting. So there you go. This is the Shure SM58. This is how it sounds with the Shure MVX2U interface. I love this little interface. It's just, it's power packed. It's super versatile. Sounds great. And if you're going on the road somewhere and you have a dynamic microphone, you can throw this stuff into your bag and you're off and running. Podcasting, singing, whatever you would need a great microphone like the Shure SM58 for. I hope this video helps you.